Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. I'm Marina, and today we have a Amazon, Target, Dollar General, a little bit of Walmart, a little bit of hodgepodge. They seem to get stuff from all over the place. You never know what you're going to find there, but I like to go at $1 a day because you really never know what you're going to find for just $1, and I have found that I've been able to pick up a lot of really great stuff for donating at just one dollar that I would never be able to get anywhere else so I have a really fun haul from them um, right next to me there is a huge garbage bag of these cool carnival I should have put it in a basket but this is the bag they gave me and these are from Target you probably have seen them they're the circus animals that Target was selling for a while. I'm not sure if you guys have ever seen them. They do have the, they have the tiger. Really cool. I mean, these were only a dollar at Target. I didn't pay a dollar for these. Wait for it, guys. Then they have the cute sheep in pajamas. I mean, kids are going to get a kick out of that. And then they have the dancing horses. It almost looks like a unicorn, but it's really just a horse with some feathers on its head. And then they have the trained seal, the circus seal. They also have the dancing bear and the beautiful show elephant. Now, I understand that there are a lot of people out there that don't like this because it is cruel to animals, but these are plastic toys. They're just toys, and I have no opinion on them whatsoever because they're just toys. Um... I was able to get this whole entire bag. The guy sold me the whole bag and there are over 90 pieces, I think in here or 87 pieces for $20. So it was a really, really great deal. It was almost like four for a dollar and then some. Time and time again, I have shared with you guys how much I love the eight piece pack of popcorn bags from the Dollar Tree, but this time they really are a carnival in a bag. I mean, this is almost like a dream come true for me. I'm going to put one of each of the animals in the bag. I'm going to fold it down and these are going to be really cool stocking stuffers. Of course, we'll put a set outside of the bag so that kids can know what's in here, but how cute is that? And we could put them in a big basket and they'll just let the kids grab them and take them. But I mean, yeah, they'll get a whole set of cute little circus animals in this fun bag. Kids are going to love that. And that cost me hardly anything. It's a great donation. Yep, there's another whole bag here, guys. I can't wait to share my next great deal. But first, I want to share this with you guys. It's a really heavy, really nice quality pearl necklace. I have no idea where it came from. Probably Amazon. Here's a crazy thing. I love pearls. And I did get these really fun pearl earrings from the Dollar Tree a while ago. And I love this necklace because look at like even, do you guys see that? It's just really, really a nice, heavy, heavy weight. You could see that it's really heavy. So it'll look kind of real. I love the idea of wearing pearl necklaces during the holiday season for some weird reason. So when I saw them, yeah, th that just rhymes. But I just felt like it would be fun to wear these pearls with these earrings during the holiday season. I mean, obviously it doesn't necessarily go with this outfit, but I just think that they're a really cool set of pearls for just a dollar. And yeah, I, I love them. I picked them up, definitely. Then I picked up lots and lots of notebooks and things like that because you guys know that their books are um, 10 for $5, but they actually were trying to get rid of a bunch of stuff and they gave me a much better deal. I'm going to show you guys everything that I got, and you're not going to believe how much they charged me. They really, really hooked a girl up. Now these, these I actually have 30 of. I collected all of them from all over the um, liquidator because they were in the book bins and all kinds of other places. People had strewn them everywhere. I found 30 of them, and what they are... so. By their standards, I should have paid 15 just for the amount of these that I got. But wait for it, guys. 
I found them all and I was like, look, you guys have had these for a while. I don't think people are going to grab these up. I'm going to make you guys a deal. I'm going to collect all of the paper products like this and notebooks and stuff like that, that I can find that I want. And you're going to give me a bundle deal. And the guy at the register was a little apprehensive, but then he came up to me later and was like, all right, if you take all the carnival stuff, I'll give you a deal. And I was like, yeah, I'll take all the carnival stuff because I definitely wanted the animals. So, okay. So I got 30 of these, 10 for $5, automatically should have been 15 bucks. And these are by the brand Bendin, which they do sell at the Dollar Tree. They don't have a big one like this at the Dollar Tree though. This is from the movie Super Pets. Kids love that movie. Look at how cute the graphics are on the packaging. This is a big package. It's not like the little ones you get at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. And the Dollar Tree does not have this one because what you get inside of this is a surprise foam character. So you actually get the character. There are four pets to collect. You get two sticker sheets, one stencil, one velvet poster to color, eight crayons, 32 page full size coloring book in here. One of them is actually open, so we're gonna open it and I'm gonna show it to you guys, but I think that I got an amazing deal. I actually got an entire coloring book inside of here and it's not the little kind, it's the big kind. So that's a score in and of itself. The velvet coloring sheet, here's the foam character and it does have the little stand for the kids to prop them up. Kids love these little things. I mean, it is what it is. You get the cool stencil. And remember, they're the DC Super Pets. And you get DC character stickers, which is so cool. I mean, really awesome, you guys. Really cool stickers. Do you guys see that? From the Justice League DC Comics. And you get a whole thing of crayons. What? Yes. For... For $15 for 30 of these, I would already have been having a great deal. But it gets better, guys. It gets much, much better. And remember, they want to hook me up because they do know that I run a charity. I don't believe they do that for everyone. But like I said, I got 30 of these all together. And these are amazing, amazing donations. I love these. I can even use these for Easter baskets. But I'm definitely going to be giving them out for Christmas. I hope to get more of these next time that they have a bunch of stuff left over. That's going to be my new thing. Now, these seem to be like in abundance and you guys aren't selling them. Let's make a deal, guys. That's my new favorite sentence is let's make a deal. All together, I bought 60 of the items that are in the 10 for $5 section, like, you know, coloring books and books and notebooks and stuff like that. So that would have cost me, um, for 60 items, it would have been $30, no matter what, because it's 10 items for $5. And if you don't get exact, like their whole thing is, if you don't get 10 items and you get nine items, you pay $9. But if you get 10 items, you pay $5. So that's their little thing. But I got 60 items and I didn't pay $30. I did not pay that. Wait for it, guys. So I got a bunch of these Spider-Man items. Um, some of them are still in the car because I have 60 all together. And those come with little markers and some glow-in-the-dark stickers. And they're by that brand, Tara, that's been popping up in the Dollar Tree. Isn't that interesting? Very strange. But, hey, I don't care because these would be a buck and a quarter at a Dollar Tree and they were not even a dollar at the Amazon liquidator. Then I got a bunch of these glitter coloring posters with the little gems and the markers by the brand Frozen. A bunch of these as well. All together I have 60 of things so I don't know exactly how many of everything I have but I have at least five of each of these coloring things because I, I remember counting them. I got Mickey Mouse Jr. And again, markers, stickers, and the cardboard poster, again, by that brand, Tara. This would definitely be, I think that they even sell this at the Dollar Tree, but I didn't pay $1.25. I don't know what they're doing at the Dollar Tree. And I got a bunch of Minnie Mouse as well, again, with the markers and the little gems, super cute poster. Little girls are going to love that as a little extra stocking stuffer. And Oh, I got a bunch of these too. These Imagine Ink that you could use over and over again. 
with a mess-free marker. Oh, wow. These were $3 at Target. I didn't even read. Oh, my gosh. What a crazy score I got. That is insane, you guys. Insane. So, yeah, I got several of these. They would have cost me 9 bucks at Target. They didn't cost me anywhere near that because, like I said, I got 60 items all together for... I'll let you guys know. I did get a couple of these books. Um, it's called Ocean Waves for All. And they didn't, ha I don't know if they had a dust cover, but it doesn't matter. It's a really pretty, pretty book about under the ocean. So, of course, Marina loved it. Very gorgeous book. Look at that. Look at the photography on that book. So, so pretty. Really gorgeous. I got a couple of these perfect donations. Kids love kids' books. I don't know what this retailed for because I suspect this book did have a dust cover at some time, but both, I think I only got two copies of this. Both of the copies that I found of this book had no dust cover, but kids aren't going to care. It's a super cute book. Great for donating. I found like so many other books, but they were de like destroyed. I don't know. It was really weird. Like why destroy a book? Then I did pick up these Backyard Birds uh, by Benden. It was also $3 at Target. And what these are, are 36 card learning book that's like, you know, on a swivel. I have a secret to tell you guys. I didn't buy this for donation. I bought one for me and one for my mother-in-law because we love birds. I mean, I really love, you guys know I have the bird pillow. I have my birds up there. I have birds like all over my house. I used to have a green wing macaw years and years ago, but I just kind of love the idea of having this just... I don't know. I love birds and it's fun to bird watch. I do love looking at all the birds that come into my backyard. They have a cardinal in the back. I know that my, my mother-in-law is also going to really enjoy this. They have a red bellied woodpecker. I don't know. I think it's just a cute little thing to look at and enjoy. And they have like information about them all. I don't know if I had found a ton of these, I still would have to keep one for myself. I think it's really cute. It's made ergonomically so you can hold it, but I I totally, I totally think that these are cool stocking stuffers for one for my mother-in-law, one for me. I also got several of these. Well, not several. I think I got five or six of them all together. Uh, like I said, I have 60 items all together. Little Book of Awesome Sticker Activity Pad by Crayola. 25 activity pages and two sticker sheets and look at how fun those are. I think I might have had five of these all together, but the stickers, I mean, I was going to take them no matter what. The stickers are super fun. Look at the astronaut kitty. I mean, just really fun, cute, cute, crazy, zany stickers and they are less than a dollar. These cost me less than a dollar. Wait for the deal, you guys. And I think I got three of these all together, which... Um, it's not really enough to donate because I didn't find a lot of them. I'm going to hold on to them and see if I find more or maybe I'll gift them to personal friends. I do think they're very, very nice. I love things like this. It's 101 notes, lunch notes from me. What this is, is lunchtime notes, 101 notes, lunch notes from me, mom or dad. Each one will have a zany fact and then a zinger. And I think it's cute to put things like that in your kids' lunches. I used to do that for my son. And the zany fact is there are more trees on Earth than stars in our galaxy. Wow, that's that's a cool fact to know. Kids love to kids love to learn when given information. Then the zinger is what do ducks watch on TV? Oh, Marina's blind. Oh, they watch documentary. They watch documentaries. Okay, that's cheesy, but you know what? That's okay. That is super cute. Just showing kids how much you love them. Because I only found three of them, if I don't find more of them next week when I go or before Christmas, I probably will gift these to members of my family for the moms to put in their kids' lunches. But either way, like I said, wait for the price I paid, guys, because there's even more. Then I picked up a couple of these by the brand Mint Green. I'm assuming these are also from Target. I honestly don't have a clue where this came from. If you know, let me know. A three-pack journal set, but the actual floral prints are so pretty, and the rose gold is so nice. I'm back to using a ring light, and I suck at it. I was using a different type of a lamp, and it burned out, 
and I'm actually not in my usual recording room because um, I burnt the socket out and the guy's coming to fix it. So I can't plug anything in there. I don't know. Everything just, I'm just so unlucky guys. I just plugged the lamp in and burnt out the whole entire socket. But in the meantime, I'm back in my room where it's super cluttered and tiny. And I hope you guys don't hate me doing my hauls in here because the lighting is really weird because of the windows, but I'm doing the best that I can. Um, anyhow, I picked up a couple of these. I think they'll be nice for giveaways. I'll probably put one in a giveaway and then probably donate the other one. Maybe I'll break it up and donate it so more people could get a journal. Then I got several of this notebook. I'm going to keep one for my son. It's tie-dyed. Um, Five-star notebook with a plastic cover. Great buy. College ruled. I picked up several of these. And this is not cheap at Target, you guys. These are from Target, and they were never cheap at Target. And, and I had them included in my deal. Then I picked up a few of this one. They're good for boys or girls, anybody, just a notebook. Notebooks are always needed at the shelter. And I just found one of this. I'm going to see if my son wants it. If he doesn't want it, then I'm going to give it. It was, wow, it was $9.99 on clearance, you guys, originally $19.99. It is a five-star double binder with a removable pouch. It doesn't have the pouch or anything like that in it anymore, but that's okay because it does have this zipper pouch. It's actually pretty cool. I might put my napkin collection in here. I don't know. I, I like it. I think my son actually will like it and use it. It's perfect. He could put his pencils and pens in here and put some paper in there and probably stop taking a backpack to school altogether. But for less than a dollar, because guess how much I paid for 60 items, you guys. They sold me 60 items for $20 because I bought a bunch of them and I guess they just wanted to get rid of them. I think that the next step would either have been to donate them the next day or throw them away. So they had so much left over. I got hooked up and I was really happy. It's a really nice assortment of donations. Don't you guys think I would never have been able to get all of these items for that price at Dollar Tree. So for me, this place is like a mecca for potential donations. Plus, you just never know what you're going to find for yourself. Like, I got these fancy schmancy pearls for myself. And wait till you guys see all the other awesome things I found. I've got this ginormous basket full of goodies, you guys. But that's not even the whole haul. The basket itself is made of metal. And I got three of these baskets for a dollar. I think that everybody thought that they were meant to be used for people to use to shop in. And so nobody was buying them, I guess, all week. And I even thought that myself. And then I said to the guy, I was like, wow, I wish I could buy this. This is such a nice basket. And he said, why can't you buy it? It's only a dollar. And I said, what do you mean it's only a dollar? He said, those are for sale. And I was like, get out of here. So I'm probably going to eventually restore some type of a little shelving unit where I could fit these in, or I don't know, but I mean, they're amazing baskets for $1. They're metal, so cool. You don't hardly ever, ever see any store have this kind of high-end basket. Only I remember a supermarket in Manhattan that I used to shop in when I worked in the city that had this type of really high-quality basket. I think that these are more for, like, home decor. I don't know where in the world this came from. Probably Amazon. And I suspect that this is an expensive item. So you know your girl scooped this up because even if I move and I want to fix the closet when I have closets, please, God willing, someday I'm going to have lots of closets in my dwelling and I could put like my towels in here or whatever. But in the meantime, they stack and I already started using the other two underneath my, my um, kitchen cart. I have put like my extra salad dressings and stuff like that. The point is this was a bucket. I think it's amazing. I could even put my hauls in here and be like, oh, look at what I have. I know a lot of people do that. I Realistically, my hauls would never fit in this basket. My hauls are huge, you guys, but I love these baskets and they were definitely well worth a dollar. Well worth a dollar. Like I keep telling you guys, you could go there if you're short on funds and buy things and resell them. I'm sure that I could probably sell these for 
three for $30 easily and people would buy them. I got these really beautiful, nice, nice quality napkins. Do you guys see the gold foil? They're really, really, really beautiful. I could use these for Christmas or honestly, any time of the year. They're really, really nice. A lot of them. It's like a whole lot of them for a dollar, cheaper than the Dollar Tree and really pretty. I did get a DVD. I know I have like DVD issues. I do buy lots of DVDs. I picked this up because I thought my son might enjoy watching these really horribly cheesy, scary movies. And it's a collector's edition, Puppet Master 12 movie collection, Killjoy 1, 2, and 3. But when you look at the back, it's got like Killjoy 1, 2, and 3 and all of the Puppet Master movies which evidently there are a lot of them. Puppet Master, Axis of Evil, C Curse of the Puppet. I don't even know. But there's 12 movies all together for a buck. It's like a collectible. My son and my husband will at some point watch that. I bought this because I thought... So this is what it is. It's in the box still. Do you guys see that? It is for Pilates, the weights. And at first I was like, ooh, who could I gift this to? What could I do with that? Because it looks like it's expensive. I don't do Pilates. I should. It just looked really high end. But then when I looked at the packaging again, I was like, I wonder if I could do something to make that into like a Christmas decoration. So because it was only a dollar, I'm going to sit down with it and really take a look at it. Um, it does have the packaging still. If I want to gift it, I can. I'm going to look online and see if anybody's done anything with it. I mean, it was only a dollar. My phone doesn't actually work at the Amazon liquidator. That's the only thing. Like sometimes I find things and I'm like, I want to see how much this costs in the real world. Or I want to see if people have DIY'd it, but I have no service in there. It's like I go there and I'm in a whole other world. Like I could get lost there. No one can reach me. My phone doesn't ring in there. Sometimes that's bad. And sometimes it's, it's really nice to just disappear for the day where no phones can ring. No one can bother you because my son has been sick lately. I haven't been spending too much time there because I really want to find out what's going on with him. And I've been on the phone with doctors and I've been getting phone calls back, but on the regular, sometimes a girl needs an escape where she can't be reached. You guys know what I'm talking about. Then I picked this up by the brand Finn colostrum omegas and bee pollen allergy and itch relief for my friend constance's little dog um casper he has terrible terrible allergies it's a dog supplement 90 soft chews and this is a really high quality product i remember i looked it up it's nowhere near expired it doesn't expire till 2024 it's from target you guys and I Googled it and it was really expensive when I left. So I picked it up because I figured if it, for a dollar, even if it's no good, I could just throw it away. But when I left, I was like, wow, this is really good. Then these, oh my gosh, you guys, these are five bucks at Target. You guys know these, the little wooden boxes. There are so many things that people have done with them. I'm not that adventurous. They do have the little legs. You can make like tear tray boxes. I'll show you what they look like. I bought 10 of these, 10 for $10. Once you start building them, they are incredibly amazing for putting your shoes inside or stacking them up in your bathroom and putting anything you want inside. But what I did with them is I stacked them up and I have put my shoes in between there and I love them. And I glued, I put some wood glue on the bottom so they don't, you know, come apart, but you don't have to, but... For $5, I would have never bought $50 worth of these. But for a dollar, I bought $50 worth of these. And they're an awesome real wood shoe stand that if I want to pull apart and use for something else, I can. I have three left. So I put seven in a row for shoes. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these three. Maybe I'll put them in my bathroom, like for storage in the bathroom. I just think that this is awesome. It's really small and you can put it just about anywhere. The profile is really slim. 
You could put it next to your toilet. You could do whatever you want with this. It's great storage at such a great price. Like these three would have been 15 bucks at Target, but they cost me $3. You can't beat that, guys. I picked up three packs of these. They had a bunch of them and I grabbed them uh, because they're good for gift baskets for Valentine's. If I want to break them up and put them on other things and get six pairs of earrings to gift, I can. But let me look at that. They're hearts and they also have those little cupids with their arrows. I mean, those are adorable for Valentine gift baskets. So like I said, I got three of them. Then I picked this up. I only found one. Oh, the earrings retailed for $7 at Target. And so do these rings. And these are toe rings. Uh, yes, look at how cute that one is with the multi-stones. And then there's the other row. They're just super cute. That one says love. Aren't those adorable for a buck for all of those? And you know, when you go to the beach or the pool, sometimes you do tend to lose these. So to have that many of them at your disposal is, is great. I mean, I love toe rings. Right now, I've had one forever on my one foot. Um, it's sterling silver. I've had it since I was, I think since I was 18. I never, ever lost it. It's just amazing. It's like a little belt. But in the summer, I always lose whichever toe ring I put on my other foot. It's so weird. My right foot, I must walk harder on it or something. I don't know. I did break that foot, so I probably, I have a limp from it, I think. I don't know. But I have plenty of toe rings to lose for this summer for just a buck. And I would have paid $7. I buy toe rings every summer. By the end of summer, they're usually all gone. So I think for a dollar, that was a score. Then I picked this up for Constance as well. It is a little bit smooshed, but she can flatten it back out once she gets it. It's like one of those metal signs, but I think she's going to love it. It says, it's okay to make mistakes, to have bad days, to be less than perfect, to do what's best for you and to be yourself. And it has sunflowers, mason jars, and butterflies. I think she's going to love that. I would take it out of the plastic, but it does have to get shipped, so I don't want it to get ruined. Now, this is so cool. What it is, is a frame. As you can see, it was probably ordered on Amazon for people to display jewelry in this orientation or this orientation. And it's black velvet. But what I was thinking is this would be great if I ever decide to start selling things again on eBay or anything like that. You can easily display them on the black velvet so that they can show nicer and I do plan on doing um, another reason why I bought this is because I did receive some beautiful donations from a beautiful, wonderful, kind subscriber that I've been meaning to share with you guys that I'm, of course, going to be donating, but I can show them in my video on here. And also I scored on eBay a huge amount of rings. I even sent one to Sweet Sadie J TV. Um, they're large plus size women's rings, but I scored a ton of them, a ton of them on eBay for only $9.99 and $6 shipping. For $16, I got a like a whole container full of rings that I'm going to be putting in these pretty little ring holders that I told you guys I ordered from Wish a long time ago and bringing those to the shelter as well. So when I do that video, I can use this. For a dollar, I thought this would make it much easier for you guys to see. And I will always be able to use that, like I said, in several other ways. And for a dollar, you can't go wrong. Then I found this on Dollar Day. And of course, it needs to be washed. It is silicone. It is a universal, a universal lid for a frying pan or whatever pot. But I kind of as long as it doesn't like create an odor when I'm using it to cook, because it feels like super rubbery silicone. Um, I've never used anything like that. I'm really intrigued by it. It's by a brand called Glue Glue Goose. <laughs> yep, Glue Glue Goose. I don't know if you guys can see that. <laughs> glue Glue Goose. But um, if it doesn't have like a chemical scent when I'm using it, I might get rid of like all of my pot lids and just replace it with that one because... That would give me so much more space in my kitchen to have a universal lid for a dollar. Um, that's kind of exciting. I found this as well 
by the brand I Love Dogs, Happy Healthy Allergy and Itch Immune Support for Dogs. It has 90 soft chews in it and salmon oil. I picked this up actually for Mabel. Sometimes she does also compulsively get the itches and not fleas. She just is an OCD kind of dog. She's a little kooky, but the salmon oil, she's going to love like as a treat. I've actually been giving her some of them already. They're really cute, but the salmon oil makes her fur have less dander and makes her really smooth. So for a dollar, that's really good. It has probiotics. She has a lot of stomach issues. Mabel is a purebred Boston Terrier. They genetically have stomach issues, but she's been actually doing really good ever since I got those for her. So I was excited to get those for a dollar. That's just an amazing deal. I think that that retails for like well over 20 bucks at Target. Then I found this, it's Asutra, A-S-U-T-R-A, -A. not Kama Sutra, Asutra, A-S-U-T-R-A, spray pain away. I guess that might make pain go away too, <laughs> but magnesium oil spray, immediate relief. This works, you guys. I picked up a few of them and they're really kind of amazing. I'm going to be sending one to Constance as well because she has fibromyalgia. I actually do have fibromyalgia as well. I never speak about it, but I do have it and sometimes it is unbearable. A lot of the time, I don't really, I never really talk about it, but I actually do have Raynaud's disease, which is why I'm always so cold and why it takes me so long to warm back up. And it's very frustrating to have it because it's really painful, but I also have fibromyalgia. I really don't talk about it because I know that this sounds really crazy, but I don't know. I was raised like that. I know this sounds almost insensitive, but I just refuse to acknowledge that I have them. I, I do have it. I don't take anything for it. And I just tell myself, it's not going to kill you. Just keep going. And I know that seems insensitive, but that works for me. <laughs> so um, some days it is unbearable. It is really painful to have fibromyalgia. So I've been using one and it kind of helps. Magnesium is a wonderful, wonderful resource for all types of women's issues. Um, high levels of magnesium have even been found to help women uh, who have been diagnosed with mental illness, like bipolar, people were hospitalized and then given like, there was a whole a study done in the seventies where they gave people who had been in asylums for almost their entire lives. They gave them like, I think 4,000 and above milligrams of magnesium. And these people were able to live normal lives out of asylums. Then doctors were like, Oh, but what are the effects of magnesium? Magnesium is not going to kill you. Anyhow, I love natural homeopathic remedies for things. And I really like this Asutra. Had I known it was really good, I would have bought a lot more of it. And I probably, when I run out of it, will get more. So if you suffer from pain, try this. It's kind of amazing. It it does something. It like relaxes the muscle. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's psychosomatic. Maybe I'm psycho. I don't know, but it works. And it was only a dollar. I think it retails for 12 bucks. I, I don't remember what it retails for. I'm going to put the info up here because I remember I Googled it and I was like, wow, I got a good deal. I mean, it's not like a super expensive, but I picked up one that I'm using and I picked up one for my friend Constance and one for myself. And I think Pamela bought one of these as well. Um, it says doctor recommended all natural ingredients. And I just, I don't know, but I love remedies like this. It does have the cruelty-free symbol and it's vegan and it says 100% natural, pure, topical grade, Zextine magnesium oil. I don't know where in the world this comes from. Maybe Germany, Asutra, Zextine, but it works, guys. If you suffer from like fibromyalgia or Raynaud's disease or, because once you your fingers get cold and you have Raynaud's, it is painful and it does not go away for like 24 hours. It's terrible. This really helped me. So yeah, I loved it. Absolutely love that. Then I bought this and this is kind of crazy, but hear me out. I love it. I can't say this enough. It reminds me of like some kind of an 80s ethereal. I don't know what. It just reminds me of something so beautiful it is actually made of silk, you guys. It is silk. But I don't know what in the world it was doing at this place. 
it's silk. It's probably made in China. And it says right there that it's silk. 2X, 3X. So it's huge. But it's actually a dress. But I am going to be going to the tailor and having the tailor turn this into a blouse. Because it is here. I did a try on for you guys. Here's my try on. Ta-da! But isn't that sleeve beautiful? I love it. It's actually a long dress. I'm never, ever going to wear a white dress. I could barely pour myself into one and was devastated on my wedding day because I do not like how I look in white. I like how it looks on my skin up here, but down here, no thank you. But I love the sleeves. I can see myself wearing it with the pearls and a black vest. And it's like, you know, it's beautiful. I love, love it. And it's silk, you guys. A silk dress in my size for a dollar. But I'm going to have them make it into a really nice tunic for me. And I think that it's worth it. If I knew how to sew, I would do it myself. And I know I could cut it and use that witch stitchery. But I happen to know a really, really affordable tailor back in Queens where I used to live in Jackson Heights. If you live in Queens, then you probably know the tailors I'm talking about. They are so affordable, so talented. They're like dressmakers. They could remake stuff for you. And a hem on something like that in a regular tailor shop is like 30, 40 bucks. They charge like nine or eight dollars to do something like this simple easy peasy and for me under ten dollars for a silk beautiful ethereal top well worth it don't you guys think i picked this up and you know i could always buy this at the supermarket but i like this dressing it is ken's steakhouse vinaigrette it has no artificial flavors no artificial preservatives no high fructose corn syrup and it also does not contain soy, which is one of the reasons why I like to use this dressing. This bottle is like four bucks usually, sometimes over $4. It's the big one, the 16 ounce, a dollar at the Amazon liquidator. Never been open, nothing wrong with it. Shake well and pour on your salad. How can I go wrong with that? I mean, of course I bought that, of course. Then I just piled everything on here. Then I bought this, and in truth, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but it's so darn cute. It is from the Target dollar spot, and I remember seeing it, actually. It's a menu board, a chalkboard menu board. This would be great if somebody was having a baby shower or a wedding, but I'm not having either one of those anytime soon, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, but for a buck, I definitely grabbed it. This is originally from Dollar General. I know because of that brand right there the Bobby Brooks Ladies 2X. Um, it's just a cute shirt. It does have this detailing here. I mean, it's nothing fancy or high end, but it was just a buck. And if I don't wear it out of the house, I'll probably sleep in it. It may actually be a pajama. Not that that matters to me. If I want to wear it, I could wear it anywhere I want, but it was only a dollar, you guys. It's a great deal for a dollar. It has a cute shirt bottom hem. I think it's cute for a dollar. This is something that I order online all the time because my husband takes a lot of medication that hurts his stomach and my son has been going through, I mean, we just, we use this Omeprazole delayed release, orally disintegrating tablets. I just order the regular pills. It is compared to Prilosec OTC. I have this delivered to my house every single month by Amazon and I pay, I think, $14 for it or $16 for it. But this one is strawberry flavor, melts in your mouth, dissolves without water. This one is cool. I've never even known that this one existed. And I got 42 tablets for a dollar. This is such a good deal. If they had a lot of these, I would have bought all of them, but I only found one. I hope to find more of these in the future. Definitely. That was a score. I was so excited to find that. I looked and looked for more of those. Then um, the dogs have already been eating these, and I picked up two packs of these. They're mini bully sticks. I saw these at Marshall's. I think I even recorded it. They were like $6 at Marshall's, and I'm sure they're more in other places because it's not from Marshall's that this originated from, but it is by Jack and Pup, treats by meat experts and dog lovers, all natural, grain-free, high-protein, mini bully sticks, naturally odor-free. Um, 
the dogs love them. I don't know if you guys have ever tried these for your dogs, but I they already got into the other bags. And I'm sure that they can't wait to have this bag as well. Um, Mabel, like, devours these. So they're, like, weird shapes, but the dogs absolutely love them. They are natural. Uh, they, I mean, they love them. I was so excited to get that for a dollar. I knew that that was expensive. This is probably $12 or $13 at Target. I don't know. I might look it up if I remember, but it's a lot more than a dollar. I found this. 10 pieces of gingerbread mini cutouts for a dollar. How cute is that? There's a little girl with her dress and a little boy with his pants. So cute. Those could be like cookies, faux cookies in my gingerbread bar. And I don't, I'm sure that this probably came from Amazon, maybe Dollar General, Beastie the brand is, B-E-I-S-T-L-E. No, <laughs> I thought it was Beastie. <laughs> I don't think so. It's Beastle. Beastle. The brand is called Beastle. B-I-E-S-T-L-E. Oh, and it's printed on both sides. This is so cute for a buck. For a buck. Probably came from Amazon. Then um, this was marked down to $3.99 from $7.99 at Target. And I've actually bought this semi-permanent color. I added to my shampoo and conditioner. That is how I keep my hair red longer because red hair is hard to do guys very hard and by adding this to your shampoo and conditioner it extends the life of your color i've paid eight dollars for it i've paid more than that at various places but it's never been opened nothing's wrong with it and i'm going to add it to my shampoo and conditioner and it's by the brand wella Red, you can't go wrong. That was a score. I was like, wow. And it was like the only one they had. Once again, meant for me to have. Then I found this and it is labeled by the brand Threshold as a serving board right there. I'm sure that it had something in it originally, um, but it is considered a serving board. Wipe clean with damp cloth and... It doesn't say you can't put food on it, which is really interesting. It actually says that it's a four-piece wood cutting board. I don't know what the four pieces were. I'm sure that the people that are super experts at Target know exactly what went in here, but I don't really care. I know that I could put any tea lights in here and it would look pretty, or I could just take the labels off and use it on the other side as a serving board, as it says that it is a serving board, but... I picked these up, which are also from the Bullseye Playground, and I thought that I would just put these in my front entrance way. I'm going to do that ASAP because it's almost Thanksgiving, but look at how cute those turkeys are. I have like a bird collection <laughs> that I like to put out during Thanksgiving, and maybe I'll show you guys my whole little bird party Thanksgiving scene but it's like a girl turkey and a boy turkey, a Tom turkey and a Tallulah turkey. But aren't they so, so cute with this really gorgeous teal pumpkin? I love that. And the whole thing cost me four bucks, cheaper than it would have at the Dollar Tree. And they would never get this real wood board, which I can use as a charcuterie board during the Christmas season and then put my turkey duo away. I think that those are so adorable for the money that I paid for them. You just couldn't beat that unbeatable deal. I found this and I've never heard of this before. It's by Procter and Gamble, actually. Let me know if you've ever tried this product. It is dry conditioner. It says that it's weightless and smooth. It has soft, smooth feel without the weight. Great for fine hair, waterless to conditioning level. So I don't know what that two means but it's waterless, dry shampoo, paraben free. Oh, meaning you don't use water to, <laughs> duh, Marina, duh, 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 duh. So I guess the brand is waterless. Is that the brand? I don't know even what brand this is, but you guys know that I like to try products that I've never seen before. And it was just a dollar. So I'm going to try it. But if you've ever used this or have even seen this brand before, let me know. I hope it's from Target and it's not some bizarro brand. Now, these were marked down to just $2.99, but 
I really like them and they're by Avery. So they're actually very good labels and you get 12 labels in all. It's comparable to Dollar Tree, but Avery labels are like next level, really good quality labels. And I just like the shape of them. They're perfect for the plastic containers that I use in my cupboards. It's time to revamp them. And I just picked these up because they were a dollar cheaper than the Dollar Tree. I might use them in my hot cocoa bar. You never know. But I, I could always use some chalkboard labels. So then I found this and it's called the Fur Zapper. On your clothes or on your laundry, add Fur Zapper to your washer and dryer. So it says shed happens like you know shed happens uh fur zapper zaps fur off your laundry just the label and that kitschy zinger <laughs> really made me want it but i love this like photography where they're like look i don't know it's just so cheesy that it's kind of exciting do you guys see like the the do you guys see the software that they use to do their packaging it's like do you know what i'm saying it's like it's like I did it. It's like a thumbnail that I would make, not like really a high end packaging, but you never know. It might work. So it says to put both of them. You get two. It says to put both of them in your washer and then pull your laundry out when it's clean, rinse them off and then put them both in your dryer and it'll get all the fur. I bet it works because it's that kind of like rubber that Oh, wow. Yeah, this is going to work. It's that suit. I bet you, you could, oh my gosh, you could probably, <gasps> it, it's getting, wow. These are cool for a buck. These are a great deal. I literally even got my own hair. <laughs> if you look, I just had a, yeah, those are going to work. That's very cool. I'm really excited to have found those for just a dollar. That's, that's a score. Yeah, I'm happy that I got that. That's super cool. Then I found this product. It's called Bio Vanta Dual Action Throat Spray. N-S-A-I-D relieves sore throats and fights colds, mixed to activate. And when I was in the store, um, I actually went outside. It's sugar-free. I went outside because I was really intrigued by it. And at the time, you guys remember, I was really not doing good. I had gotten over the strep, but it kept coming back. And so this product is really crazy. It comes like in a little pouch and then you mix it. And it's like a two-step process to use it. Like, see, there is the product that you mix into the um, step two. So it's two parts, step one and step two. And the first one tastes like sa like salt water a lot. I would Google that and buy it. I have actually never tried anything so awesome that is all natural. Bio Vanta. Yeah. So that's another item. I love trying things that I've never tried before. I have two of them actually. And I'm kind of excited about it. Then I found these. And these are glaze semi-cured gels. They last up to 14 days. So these are actually amazing. I tried these once before and I actually bought them for like $13 from Target um, in a different color. What they are is a semi-glazed gel nail and you apply them on your nails like a nail strip and you put them under the light and they cure into like a false nail, but they really, really stay on. I actually love them, but... $12.99 or $12 is kind of a lot to spend on something like that. And I never saw them anywhere else, but they're actually sealed because once you, they're still good. They're usable, basically. They're by the brand Dashing Diva, which is a really great brand. I'm sure you guys know that. And I love the color. So I picked those up because you actually get a ton of them. You get 34 of them. I do have a light for, I have several different, different types of nail lights. And I think that for a dollar, I was happy to get that. I love the color. It's awesome, awesome deal for a buck. I picked this up and you'll be like, what in the world is that? This is so cool. My son is going to love it. It is uh, one of those chill pillow cases, arc chill. It has that fabric that automatically makes your skin feel 
like refreshed and cool and my son is always hot it does have a zipper so his pillow won't be flapping out like you know how teenagers are but it's arc chill these actually at bed bath and beyond these are kind of expensive and he had one a long time ago i don't know even what happened to it but i'm sure this one is from amazon and it was a dollar i that's a great buy i think it was like $14.99 at Bed Bath & Beyond when I bought it. And this is my last item that I'm going to share with you guys because this haul is probably longer than my Dollar Tree hauls. But this could possibly be one of the coolest things I've ever gotten for a dollar, you guys. It is a halter top. Let me just say that right off the bat. It is a green halter. I'm going to put it on like this so you guys could get an idea. It is a green chiffon halter. I just fastened the top of it. So nicely made. It's chiffon and it is a plus size. It's my size. Of course, I could put a, sh a little shrug over it, but it would still show like here open and I'll cover my arms. I'm not going out in the dead of winter practically naked, of course. But, and I have a silver shrug that would look cool with it. It is a whole entire jumpsuit with wide, wide, wide belt butterfly like butterfly leg pants you guys butterfly chiffon all the way how amazing is that and you could I could wear it with like a long sweater falling off my shoulders and it would and put a belt but for a dollar you I mean the color is gorgeous I really love this and I've already tried it on it's very beautiful the back is totally open I'm not even for one second trying to walk around naked in New York in the dead of winter, but the chiffon fabric is going to look really nice with like an exact color sweater. I even have a sweater. I wore it the other day in my CVS haul. I might even make it casual with chiffon pants, but I couldn't resist it for a buck, you guys. It's so awesome and it's probably like 30 bucks on Amazon. It's one of those like made in China outfits but for a dollar how could I not buy that it's my size and my favorite color and I mean what a score yeah I, I was thrilled to find this I just think it's amazing amazing for a dollar well that's it my friends that's everything I can share with you this week in my Amazon Target Walmart little bit of Dollar General liquidator and you never know what you're gonna get um I hope you guys enjoyed this if you did enjoy this video Go on Facebook or on Google and start searching Amazon Target liquidators, pallet resellers, things like that. You'll be surprised. There's one right around the corner near you guys. So many items have been ordered to be shipped to people's homes since this horrible COVID thing happened that people are returning things that stores are not selling. They have to sell them somewhere and they're selling them in these places. You can get Christmas gifts. You can get yourself gifts. You can sell them and make money. There are so many awesome uses for these awesome items. Definitely check an Amazon Target, a little bit of Walmart. You guys get it. Liquidator near you. And until then, you guys stay safe and stay savvy. Bye-bye. And have an amazing, blessed Thanksgiving, you guys. I love you guys. Bye-bye.